Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all the zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2021. Our first card here is the Six of Swords. Quick movement, Virgo. The Chariot card, the Eight of Cups, the Three of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, my lovely Virgos. Okay, so we definitely see very quick movement. I feel that the month of July is going to be very, it's almost like a feeling of being able or having the need to catch up, um, of getting like very fast movement. So this could be you experiencing, this could be at work, uh, this could be in regards to relationships, this could be a feeling of more than anything, like wishing that you, that the day had more hours in the day, if that makes sense. It's almost like a feeling of, overwhelmingness because it's very quick movement it's always on the go um this is directly in connection with your everyday life virgo i feel that there is a lot of progress there's a lot of movement a lot of uh you know growth that you're currently experiencing this could be opportunities coming to you in regards to your career in regards to your profession in regards to your finances being able to not only stabilize but really be able to make the best of those opportunities because ultimately it will lead uh, to greater abundance, more stability, more financial stability, more than anything. Um, Six of Swords with the Chariot card is quick movement. I do see you guys uh, doing some type of traveling in the month of July. For some of you guys could be vacation. For others of you, it could be regarding to work and career. Um, you do have here the Eight of Cups, walking away from a situation that perhaps you kind of felt um, wasn't really being, not being clear on what it is that you, what the other person uh, wanted. This could be in regards to relationships or a person that you were dealing with, where there was a, a feeling of tug and pull. They would come around, they pull back, come back around, pull back that type of energy. And I feel that you're becoming empowered in this month, Virgo. You're like, you know what? If you're going to stay, stay. If you're going to go, there's the door, that type of energy. And I feel that it's coming from a place of being more in your power, Virgo. This is you being more confident. This is you knowing exactly what you deserve and not apologizing for it, not apologizing for Maybe you do want a little bit more. Maybe you do expect people to step up. There's nothing wrong with that because if that's what you're bringing to the table, there shouldn't be any, there shouldn't be a feeling of having to bring down, um, there shouldn't be a feeling of having the need to bring down your expectations uh, because you're able to meet what you're asking for in a partnership. So Again, very empowering type of energy here, Virgo. Um, I do want to say, I feel that I want to say the second, third week of July, you may start to experience a bit of restlessness. Again, it's almost like your mind is working 24-7. This could be um, even while you're sleeping, like you can't shut it off and you wake up feeling like restless. You feel like you never really got, you know, the rest that you needed. Um, be careful with that only because I do see a little bit of anxiety here. Um, uh, my advice for you guys, if you are experiencing that type of energy, it's only because you're experiencing anxiousness only because the energy surrounding you at the present time is very quick moving Virgo. Um, so if you are experiencing that, I would highly encourage you guys to warm some warm milk, um, put some lavender, uh, put some mint and um, strain that and drink it, or you can do it in a tea, in water. This is gonna help you relax 30 minutes before you go to bed uh, so that you can be able to fully get your rest because I do see that um, if you don't take care of that sleeping, um, of that sleeping being, in, I, I see you guys constantly, you're sleeping interrupted. So this could be waking up at odd hours. This could be you go to bed and you're finally thinking, I'm going to be able to sleep early. You go to bed at 11. You wake up at 2, 3, 4 in the morning. Um, so again, I feel that being able to rest or relax your body with the tea I just told you um, is definitely going to help alleviate that type of anxiety that you're currently uh, dealing with. And it's the energies, the planet alignments that are also 
uh, creating a bit of turmoil in regards to our emotions, in regards to, um, you know, the transformation that we're going through and that we're experiencing. So again, I would highly encourage you guys to do that. Um, but I do see major potential here for the month of July. Um, if you guys are uh, thinking or wanting to get some type of, um, to make a major purchase, I would advise for you guys to hold back probably third or the last week of July to make that purchase. Um, when we're talking about major purchases here, um, right now is not the right time. I feel that you may, if you do it, you may rush into it and later experience difficulties. As an example, if you're thinking of getting a car, my advice would be wait till the third or last week of July so that you can better make a decision when picking a car because if you rush into it, you may get a faulty vehicle, okay? So I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye, Virgo.